Hello folks, Bruce here. Well, we got a new project. Man, we've had a lot of these little... Oh, this is an HR 194. It's older, the old metal gray Honda. I don't think it's a very wide one, it might be 20 inches. But look at, that's exactly how it came to me. Can you imagine cutting a lawn like that? So I think we're going to have to address that first before we carry on. I think it's going to be a good little lawnmower, although I, I haven't pulled the rope on it or anything yet. Straight up. <laughs> well, let's just see. We've got to take them off. So. Oh, Somebody was fiddling with it because these are loose. So let's see if we can pull this out. Okay, let's have a look. Now I think that box is set. No, that's not quite right. Ah, there, I think we got it. Yes, sir. -y. I think that's it. Seems to fit. I'll show you how that clips on there, and then I'll, uh, I'll just put it away because this is as far as I'm going to take this today. I couldn't even move it around. That's better. So this, this is uh, another one of the ones with the blade clutch. But anyway, down here, that that was the whole. These two holes were backwards or something. I don't know. That, that looks right because uh, the pin goes through there, the threaded lock is there, and then the guide is out front. So I think that's right. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah, I'm just going to put it on ice for a few days. Thanks for watching. So that'll be coming up. Okay, my friends, this is the uh, broccoli scraper or uh, grass under the lawnmower scraper that I got from Mix Mowers. Uh, Mix Mowers on YouTube. Just look that up. He has a lot of fun. He's a good family man. He understands some of the issues of, of uh, full family requirements and things that happen. Anyway, so let's just, this is a face-to-face -face comparison of my old, let's see if we can get you, is that, can you guys see that at all? Yeah, maybe you can. So here's the new one. Oh yeah, see now that. It's got a thinner, rounder edge. Now this is worn and old, but it has no flexibility. It's just like a stick versus that. Okay. Well, close your eyes. Come with me. Whew. All right. All right, it's cleaned off. Let's lift it up. <laughs> I don't believe it. Hello, Bruce here. Well, that wasn't a movie producer. And my manager of acquisitions and dispositions is working in the garden. So I got the phone call. And, uh, and uh, anyway, now we will continue with the moving the Honda up the I lowered it back down because we're going to start that again and uh, we'll start again. Now the door's open. The light's not as good, right? So, where are we going to put you guys? I'm trying to improve my lighting. So, won't start. 
It will start if I pump a little bit of gas down the carburetor. A very, very good air filter. Do I take the carburetor right out or do we have a look at the bowl first? Oh boy, this is the stuff, I just had a look, right? This is the stuff that, uh, you know you're in trouble when you see gnarled up bolts. Like there's the drain right there. You guys see that? No, how does the bottom one look? Like, I don't know if I can get in there. Let's just have a look at the bowl. I'm just going to hit the bowl out. Oh, it's not coming. It's rounded right off. Who's that? And then there'll be a vent pipe for the uh, atmospheric gas burning right there. Gaskets are good. Maybe he hasn't been inside it. So, to remove, are we still zoom or are we back out now? Good. So, to remove, there's two sets of levers one for the choke, which is off the top here, right? I'm just moving the choke lever up by the handle. And then one for the fuel. So, we'll take the spring off the gas first. And then we'll just disconnect the throttle arm if possible. You guys know what I'm trying to do now. I put a little kink in it, didn't I? There we go. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to undo that from that slot right there. You know what? The gaskets look really good. I don't think he's been in here. You will notice now that we're of this little guy. Look at that. I hope he didn't get in there. I have spares. So the person that worked on this just used, oops, it's spilling fuel. Uh, the person that worked on this, in, in whoever did it before me, couldn't get into this carburetor. And I hope he didn't. Doesn't even look like he had a pair of vice grips, eh? Such a cute little carburetor, why would somebody do that to it? Okay, we're grabbed 90%. I've got this edge here on the on-off valve I can't grab. Now we can maybe get that off of there. Let's, um, let's take this one off. Of course I dropped it. Now, this isn't going to work, right? So now we're going to get that off with a pair of ice grips. Are you ready? The whole bowl is turning. That's okay. Here, we got it. Okay, well, that's no longer any good. And the people that do that kind of thing are the ones that hate working on small engines. Oh yeah, well, let's cut the normal amount of crud in there. Uh, and he's tried to take the jet out. You see that? It's kind of mangled and dangled. He probably didn't use a shankless screwdriver. Let's go back here and do it here. Excuse me, I'm moving you around. That'd be a shame if we can't get that jet out of there. I'm going to make that crack just a little bigger.
It might be coming. No, nope, it's not. Dirty dog. I don't think it's coming. What? I'm gonna put a little heat on it. I'll be right back. That's a good do. Do you think we can do this? I need a higher angle of attack. Remember, this is just pressed wood here. Then. Okay, we're going backwards now. It's turning. Let's turn it up just a little bit more. I hope you guys are getting this. This is good stuff. Yoford. We'll just take this off the uh, easy out now. Uh, we're going to go clockwise. Well, it's plugged. See, I'll show you that. We'll get you off of, uh, we'll get you off of zoom. We can save this. And there's our jet with the easy out scar and to look to see if they're plugged you look through and see if there's a hole and there ain't no hole there okay so there's my easy outs uh, I've, got two, I've got two different kinds but you'll see on 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 some of them there's heat there's heat scars on them eh? and then this is the other type I've got and these are really really good they made guess by you know who and uh, even though they have only the four corners not the multiple corners they are really good but they only go down to about what, what would that be 3 16 maximum so there we go and we got a carburetor that's ready to be cleaned I bet you if I uh, now all we have to do is get that uh, get that uh, emulsion tube out of there uh, we are on our way, and these are fan these are all nice tools, guys. You don't have to have all of this stuff, and I could use a lot more tools myself. But it's still really, you know, you can start small. You can you can go to the discount stores and you can pick up tools, and then as you break them or use them up or make them better or need or have a little more money. I mean, sorry, I'm chattering. So. Just work on building your tools, and some of them are even homemade. Those are the best ones. And see, it came in this way, so it should go out that way, right? It's completely plugged. Of course, we're not seeing anything, but... There, a 22 gauge wire usually is about right for these. I can just barely see a hole through there now. So guess what I'm going to use? In my changed life, I'm trying to use less of this. But I still think it's pretty cool stuff. Carb cleaner. I'm going to use one of these. Down on the finer end. 
Usually the most bent one or the most beat up one, right? These are welding torch tip cleaners. There, we got a nice hole through there now. Let's clean the bowl. Now, you guys know how would I feel about steel wool too, right? I like steel wool, but it's good and bad. And even if I was going to put this into a ultrasonic cleaner, which I might, I would still do this. Well, with the way this carburetor was treated, I'm not surprised that anything is, is any good at all. So. All a carburetor really does is take the gasoline and mix it with air and turn it into an emulsion. Now, my little buddy, I don't know if I want to take him off of there or not. It came off. That is a plastic. Needle. Oh, did I just break it? No, the spring just came off. Oh, thank goodness. I think this is an old engine. I'm just using a little bit of steel wool on the side of this needle so it'll go up and down. Carb spray really is hard on the rubber, right? Good. Might as well just give this a little rub. A float massage. I'll just make sure there's no gas in it too, eh? No, I don't think so. And then, last but not least, we will check the holes in the emulsion. I've always enjoyed doing this, plugging the three holes at the bottom, squirting in the top, and then watching the pattern. If you can. Yep, there we go. And get get uh, carb spray on the camera. That's always smart. That's okay. I love doing that, right? What was I going to say? Uh, oh, two things now. There's scars on that screw hole. And I bet you he's got that tightened right up tight. Yep. And that should be out about a turn and a half. But the thing that's bothering me the most, the idle jet is broken right off. This screw here is supposed to hold that down there. And I don't even know if I'll be able to get that out of there. That's upsetting to me. Maybe we can use an easy out. Wouldn't that be weird, using an easy out on plastic? And I don't even know if I've got one to replace it. Yeah, it came. Perfect. But I don't know if I have one the same size. I mean, I got a lot of old abandoned generator uh, carburetors that look like this. Ah, I hate this guys. You know, my grandfather used a magnifying glass and I never understood it. So we need the down shooter. This can is empty. That's a clean carburetor, believe it. I wouldn't mind cleaning the uh, jet a little more. But that's, that's pretty good. All right. Gas on this gasket. I'm going to rinse the whole thing. 
get some air. Excellent. So now the only thing we got to do is replace this with the same orifice that, that's here. Well, well, it might not even be anything there at all. No, it's completely plugged. Okay, that's it. That's good for now. All right, so you don't want to take stuff off of something that says should be clean or runs lean. And these ones all have the metal idle jet here. And we need, so yeah, see these are all, these ones at the back all have the metal idle jet. Or these ones, like ours, have the plastic, pardon me, have the plastic idle jet like that. Right there, that black thing right there. But seal. Okay, well we're going to have to steal the bottom bolt off of one of these. This one says missing idle jet. Bad. Oh my god, my writing is worse than a doctor's. Bad float. This one might be a, oh no, hey, missing idle jet. Ah! Okay, so let's go over to the two that are the size of ours, right here and here. What are we missing now? They both have the idle jet, and this one says should be okay. So we don't want to muck with that one. And this one might be our candidate because it says no idle screw on throttle. Oh, that, this is an electronic throttle. And I'm not a fan of those. Let's take that idle screw off there. Right there. We're going to take that out. We're going to rob it. Okay, we're going to take the part, the idle jet off of here. This job came off one of those electronic generators that are like a suitcase. But they come from Wing Wang. They're not, they're not a really, really good make like a Honda. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this little jet out of here, right there. Oh, it's loose. I don't think this jet's any good. Oh, it's missing the washers. Okay, this one that says parts, I got one. This one has a cracked tower where the emulsion tube goes. Man, I don't like it when they come into my alley. This is our guy we're fixing, and this is our idle circuit. It has a washer on both sides. When you look at the old one, where is it? It doesn't have a washer on either side. So we'll just keep that around, and we're going to reassemble this bad boy and see if it flies. Good. Now, the one thing we're going to need... Okay, we're going to have an emulsion tube. We have to have a jet that we can screw in. I wonder if I can do that with a hacksaw blade or something similar. All right, my friends, a hacksaw blade and a file. I think I'm going to put some tape on the bottom of this. Here we go. I'm going to just cover this jet with electrical tape. Stick it in the vise lightly. It's made out of brass. I don't think anybody's done this on YouTube yet. That's because I'm frugal. We'll line that up at 90 degrees. This is a hacksaw blade, a very fine hacksaw blade. That's why it's got a piece of tape on the end. And we're going to cut a new slot in this jet. Are you with me? And now that it's still in the vise, as Road King says, the file is your friend. <laughs> a 
And then we'll just put a slight chamfer all the way around the edge of that. Let's see how that looks without the tape. I'm not worried about the depth of the slot because the threads go in quite a ways, eh? Okay, gotta get this tape off here. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. There we go. Can we do that? Let's get the screwdriver out, the big screwdriver. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Just dropped it into some oil. going to work. We got to do this. Emulsion tube. Repaired. Uh, jet. It's been cleaned. Screwing in just fine. Good. Okay. Spring and did I break that? Or is that just a piece of fuzz? Let's just blow that off too. That's probably a piece of steel wool that I never cleaned up. I'm pretty proud of that repair on that jet. And then I think all we have left is the bowl. Oh yes, our uh, retainer. Oh no, that's on. So we'll put that on one of those old ones. And now we need a bolt to hold on the a bolt to hold on the bowl. Might even look for a whole new bowl. I'll be right back. I hope you didn't miss all that because I had the camera missing. <laughs> but anyway, we got the new stolen uh, idle circuit jet. Two stolen nuts to hold the bowl on. And uh, I could have just ordered a new carburetor, but that takes weeks now with something's happened to computer ordering and it takes forever. So I'm just going to hook this back up onto the machine and we're going to give it a pull. And if I had that camera aim too high, I'm sorry. Cameraman would help. Yes, I think when this floor was poured on this garage, when I, I was here 31 years ago, that... Uh, made sure that there would be no <laughs> no dips in the center. Okay, I don't need to put the air filter on just yet. That's all we've got left. So remember we used the uh, we used the easy outs twice. Once to get that jet out of there and once to get this plastic broken idle circuit out of there. We might not be out of the woods yet guys. But I'm pretty anxious to give this a try. I did have it running a little bit before. So I don't even know if the blade was turning. I'm tempted to almost have a little peak while it's running. I'm not going to wash my hands. Okay, two problems. Uh, it's not going to idle, and one problem is it won't turn the blade. So, but it runs. So that was step one. Thanks, guys.